Well, a very festive welcome to you. Today I am in the garage. It's Christmas Eve, would you believe? And I'm out here to film a video for you guys to show you four products on a bonnet. This bonnet has been scuffed up. I'll explain more in a minute, but I want to improve it. So I'm going to try four products from the brand we all know, Autoglim. Okay, so here's the panel, and as you can see with my overhead light here, it's not looking great. If we use this light, that really goes to show you the amount of damage is in that paint. All the lines radiating out in all the different angles and the circles that I'd been inflicting. I've really made this look awful. It's horrible, even to the naked eye. It is awful. So, I'm going to mask off four sections, and we'll get testing. So starting with Autoglim's Super Resin Polish here, very well known product. About a 50 pence piece sized blob onto my microfiber applicator here. Spreading it over before I work it onto the panel. And I'm using relatively moderate pressure here. I'm trying to engage the abrasives which are in it. I'm not going super light and just wiping it onto the paint. I want to try and push those abrasives and get them to do something to try and remove some stuff from the paint, whether it's oxidation, whether it's light swirl marks, even the lighter scratches, who knows. But I'm really working them as well as I can, whilst also working the resin fillers and the wax there as well. So leave it for a few minutes, give it a finger swipe, that's dried to a haze and ready to buff off. For anybody interested, the microfiber I'm using here, it's a nice black, soft, plush microfiber from Go Detailing. I love these, they're really nice. And this inspection light is the Unilite IL625R. It's a fantastic piece of kit if you are machine polishing and you're looking for swirls and things like that. Really good piece of kit. Now, this is Autoglim's Ultra Deep Shine specifically for darker coloured paints. Ultra Deep Shine was sort of made obsolete. However, there are still some die-hard fans of this product out there and they still want it. They still get the good of it. It's an interesting product. It smells like natural yoghurt in the bottle, which is interesting. And it says that you should wipe it over gently, but increase the pressure if you're trying to remove some defects. That tells me that there's got to be something in the way of a very, very mild abrasive in there, perhaps. So applied in the same manner as Super Resin Polish, allowed to dry for a few minutes, and then come back to give it a buff off. It was thinner than Super Resin Polish to apply, which means you can see what's left behind is a lot thinner and that means it's much easier to buff off. This is a very slick and easy product to buff off. Was it deep and shiny as it suggests? Well, you'll find out later when we get the results. Now moving on to the scratch remover kit. This is one of the products that comes in the kit, is the scratch remover paste itself. It comes out like toothpaste, it's quite a thick product. And you also get this little waffle pad to apply it. It's a dual foam pad. The white section is softer than the grey section. The grey bit is the bit you're supposed to be holding on to. And on the instructions it tells you to work it up and down and then side to side. Now keep in mind this is for removing scratches, not for polishing across your whole panel. So what I'm doing here is not what's recommended by Autoglim, that's for sure. And I would recommend you don't do it anyway because it is such a hard product to use that you will have an arm like Popeye by the end of it. But after applying it, I didn't let it dry to a haze or anything like that because it is just an abrasive. So I am removing the excess product from the panel using the included towel from the kit. I think that's what Autoglim call their high-tech microfiber. And then flipping it over to buff off to a shine. 
Now, interestingly, included in this scratch remover kit is a tiny bottle of super resin polish. So that's what I've got here on this pad. And it says you should use super resin polish after you've used the scratch remover to help improve the look of the car. Well, I decided that if it's included in the kit, it's got to be included in the test. So on this section, I am working super resin polish onto half of this section and leaving the upper half with nothing on it. So we can find out if super resin polish has any ability to change the look, if there's any difference between just using the scratch remover on its own or having it polished too. But I did use far too much for this small area. You can see it's very thick, but as we speed the footage up, you'll see it drying to a haze there. Much, much thicker than before, but it was still easy to come off. So we'll have a look at that up close at the end to find out if there's any difference there. This is Rapid Renovator using the five inch pad that was included in the box. This is a diminishing abrasive compound. That means that as you work it over time, the large abrasives become smaller. The pad included is very firm. So it really is going to push that abrasive down there and get it working onto the paint. I gave it four passes and I gave up at the end mainly because it was starting to dust. If you look at this last pass now, that is starting to dry out and dust up and that's why I stopped when I did. So buffing that off, removing the excess and we'll have a look. Okay, that's the job done. I've taken off the tape. Uh, but I haven't bothered wiping off any of the residue around the outsides so we can get a proper look at the difference. And that was the reason I left wider tape lines there as well, so you could get a better idea of what the paint looked like before. So this top right corner here is the super resin polish. You can see there's still a fair amount of swirls in there, but this is what it looked like before. You can see it's it's paler, it's, it's not as nice. So it's had a clean... It's definitely had a cleanse, it's had a darkening, possibly from the fillers and the wax that's in there. But you can see what it looked like before. That's pretty awful. And there, there is a difference. If you look there, you can see some of those lines have gone. The line running this way uh, is less visible. All of the lines are just slightly less visible. So they're being removed a little bit, they're being masked a little bit. It certainly is improving the look of the paint but is by no means correcting it. Now let's go down to the Ultra Deep Shine. The Ultra Deep Shine doesn't have the same characteristics. It's a little bit more muted. I'm honestly going to say that this actually did a slightly better job, in my opinion, compared to the Super Resin Polish. It's really up to you. But I mean, it, the difference is such a small amount, but you can see again the difference from before. It definitely has done a job there. It does look nice and dark, but there are still scratches and swirls. Come down to the unpolished section. You can see those lines. They're definitely less visible on all the different ways that it's going out. So it has done a good job. It is. It's nice stuff. Interesting because it's thinner. It goes on a little bit easier, comes off a little bit easier than the Super Resin Polish. Now over here, we've got the scratch remover. What I did is on the top section here, the top half of this quarter, I just used the scratch remover and nothing else. I didn't add the polish onto that. And you can see what looks like, I would call that similar to compound haze. So it's left some marks behind. And I think that's because it's such an aggressive abrasive. There's not a huge amount of damage there, but it doesn't look very refined. So I decided to use the Super Resin Polish down here, and that has made a difference. If you look there, going back across to the section which hadn't been polished, and then down to the section which had, the Super Resin Polish does improve the overall look of it. You can see there's a line running right along here from where I've applied it to where I haven't. You can see that 50-50 line there. And it definitely has made an improvement using the Super Resin Polish on top of the scratch remover. So it is definitely going to give you better results. Here you've got good defect removal. And then here you are improving on that again. So it is a step up, a level up from the other two. And then moving over to the Rapid Renovator. 
And what I'm seeing here, you can see that haziness, that's compound haze. And that may be that I possibly didn't work it for long enough because it is a diminishing abrasive, but I found that it dusted very quickly. You'll see that defect wise, there's hardly anything. There's a wee scratch in there, but there's very little in the way of defects in there. So it really has removed a lot and I could have gone a little longer. You can see down that section, I clearly didn't do very well down there. I didn't get down into the corner because that's the section which hasn't been polished. You can see that, look. So there's compounding haze, and I think if I had gone over it a little bit longer and perhaps a little bit slower, I might have had better results. But you can definitely see that the defects are definitely being removed, and it just needs that little bit of refinement. Maybe even super resin polish would help with that. So I'd be interested to go over that again just to see how it goes, but that'll be in my own time. But this is just to give you an idea of the differences. Look, there's, there's what it looks like when it's not been attacked and look at that you can actually see my torch you see the reflection look at that you can see the reflection of my torch it's much much clearer so definitely an interesting difference and a very visible difference between all four products very very interesting to try I hope this has given you a better idea of what the abrasive products from Autoglim can do and help you figure out what's good for you. They're definitely good products and they have their place in the market for different things. So very interesting to try this all side by side. It's been something I've wanted to do for a while now. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have enjoyed the channel this year. It has been a very, very different year very very interesting but i've appreciated all of your support all of your likes your subscriptions your comments all these things it's it's really helped the channel it's really been something good for me this year and i hope you guys have had something good out of it too in the meantime i've been specky i'll see you in the next video